Next up on the rings, former world champion Valentin Mulgilney, who once again figures prominently in the plans of coach Leonid Arkhayev, the architect of the powerful Soviet program. The Soviets have elevated gymnastics to a science. Their prototype of a future male star is very specific. Seven-year-old boy, three feet ten, 40 pounds, and of course, fearless. Valentin Mogilny, a product of that system, trains here at the Red Army Sports Club with a very unlikely coach, his wife, Olga Bicharova. She also grew up within the Soviet gymnastics program. In 1981, in Moscow, the determined 15-year-old realized the dream of all young Soviet gymnasts. With her performance here on the uneven bars and her focus and competitive spirit, she won the world all-around gold medal. Then in December of 87, the two world champions were married. Valentin, winner of two world championship titles in 85, was devastated, however, in 87 and in 88 when he was not selected for the world or Olympic team because of his lack of consistency. It was Olga who wouldn't let him give up. When I failed to make the world and the Olympic teams, I was terribly disappointed. I wanted to retire and never return to the sport. But my wife literally made me to come back to gymnastics. Since then, we have changed my programs, and I have been very successful. She is a very special woman, and I love her intelligence and her character. Now, even with six-month-old Alexei, Olga continues to coach Valentin. She's made him a more focused competitor and is thought of as the major influence on his comeback. To say I am the major influence is too strong. We were lucky to find mutual understanding from the beginning. That helps not only our family, but it is necessary between a coach and athlete. We are lucky to have found such understanding, both in family and in work. And now the Mogilnys seem to have it all. Like father, like son? <laughs> Maybe like mother, like son. Well, one thing's for certain, Bart, should young Alexa...